Tyrannosaurus rex fats. The Tyrannosaurus rex is one of the most ferocious predators to ever walk the earth. It's true. The Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-Rex for short, is named king of the tyrant lizards for a reason. And today, we're going to learn all about why. When it walked the earth, the T-Rex was an apex predator, meaning that it was at the very top of the food chain with no animal predators of its own. Found mostly in Western North America during the late Cretaceous period, around 68 million years ago, the T-Rex was built for dinosaur domination. The average length of a T-Rex from snout to tail was around 40 feet, which is about the same length as a school bus. And with the weight around seven to eight tons, a T-Rex weighed about the same as a school bus too. Another interesting fact is that T-Rex was pretty fast for its large size, with speeds as fast as 25 miles per hour. But its head is where it showed its real strength. Unlike other meat-eating dinosaurs, the T-Rex had an exceptionally large brain, about twice the size of similar animals like the Gigantosaurus. To keep itself from overheating, this giant animal had vents in its head to help its brain stay cool, similar to the vents that alligators have today. Add in 60 serrated foot-long teeth and jaws powerful enough to crush a car, and you've got one dangerous predator. Scientists believe that these dinosaurs ate live animals and scavenged carcasses, making them carnivores or meat eaters. The Tyrannosaurus rex also had a strong sense of smell, which helped it find prey. It also helped them sniff other predators and mates as well. Scientists have found that the T-Rex shares a similar sense of smell with modern-day house cats, which is kind of cool, don't you think? One of the few weaknesses that T-Rexes had was the size of their tiny arms. Can you imagine being the size of a school bus but only having human-sized arms? That's exactly what T-Rexes were working with. Tiny human-length arms with two fingers on each hand. But even though they were small, these arms were still super strong. And each finger had four-inch claws. The reason for these little limbs is still a source of debate among scientists. Some believe the arms were an evolutionary leftover or served non-predatory purposes like gripping a mate. Others think that the arms may have been adapted for slashing at short distances because a T-Rex's claws could cause some serious damage up close. Whatever the reason, it's interesting to think about. Want to know a fun fact? Did you know that T-Rexes are related to chickens? Seriously. There are two main groups of dinosaurs. Ornithischians, or those who walked on two legs and have hip bones like those of birds today, and Sarriskians, those with hip bones like a lizard. T-Rexes are part of the first group, and so they're a distant cousin of modern-day chickens. Some scientists think that this dinosaur may even have had some feathers of its own. Now that we've learned all about these spectacular slayers, let's review. True or false, a T-Rex is considered to be an apex predator. True. Fill in the blank. The average length and weight of a Tyrannosaurus rex is about the same length and weight as a modern day school bus. Honk, honk. Name two animals that share similarities with a T-Rex. Did you remember alligators? House cats or chicken? Great job! True or false, the Gigantosaurus had a bigger brain than the Tyrannosaurus rex. False. A T. rex's brain was twice the size of a Gigantosaurus's. What is one of T. rex's weaknesses? Tiny arms. 
Great job, everybody. You're well on your way to becoming T-Rex Triumphs. Probably one of the most famous of all the dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus Rex was a formidable foe. With lots of interesting abilities and skills, it's not hard to see why they were at the very top of the food chain. The next time you see a bus drive by, picture what it would be like if that bus was a dinosaur ready to chase its prey. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.